She was born in the outskirts of Seoul to an American GI and a young Korean woman. He was born in Alsace, France, land of pork and cabbage. She was put up for adoption at three and then lovingly raised in Virginia by her new family. He was 16 when he began his apprenticeship. She found her birth mother when she was 19. He came to America and became one of the world's greatest chefs. They fell in love and married over a decade ago. Now, Jean-Georges and Marja return to her birthplace to chronicle the tastes and traditions of Korea. These are the Kimchi Chronicles. Hi everybody, I'm Hugh Jackman and welcome to the Kimchi Chronicles. I'm so thrilled to have you here. Well, actually what we're going to do every week is take you to Korea, where we're going to find out what's really authentic about Korean cuisine. Then we're going to come back here into my kitchen and we're going to try it out and really see if we can do it back here. So I have some very special guests. The first, of course, is none other than my wife, Deborah Lee. Hello, darling. How are you, baby? How Except are you? I have to tell you something. Yeah, well, it's not your show. The what? It's not your show. It's Marja and Jean Georges. This is their show and it's their kitchen. We're just visiting. I We're think guests. They do want me? Hi, Marja. Oh, hey. Hello. Hi. Welcome Hi. to my kitchen. Oh, your kitchen. <laughs> I read the script a whole different way. I'm sorry. Thank I'm sorry. you for joining us. We thought we were doing the Oscars yeah. here. I'm sorry. I wouldn't kiss this man. Yeah. This is Marja and Jean George uh, von Richten. We actually are neighbours, good friends, and uh, we live one floor above you guys. Exactly. Which is torture because we get the aromas the wafting up smells. through. The beautiful smells. Yes. Of course, cookie. we have a, a world famous chef here, Jean George, and not so much world famous, but just as good right well, here. Soon Am I right? To be, yes. Soon to be. Yes. Soon to be. Soon to be. This is my new competition. Yeah. I have to watch on. I'll tell you. Thank so why don't you guys take over? I've pretty much taken everybody through most of the history of Korea <laughs> and the cuisine, but why don't you just <laughs> top it off? Why don't we start with a little bit of the choju? That'll loosen up okay. everybody's no. lips. It's like a... This is a traditional drink made out of rice. Yeah. You see the glass as it comes in, it's dangerous. So. <laughs> do do say Korean she moonshine. Kombe. 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 It's Typical actor. All right, let's get on with this. That's wrong. That, that is strong. It goes down very light, but then you get, you get the aftertaste okay. after. Let me take this away. Mm -hmm. It's very really good, actually. Mm. This. We've got work to do, so watch it. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's down the hatch. Okay, right. what are we making? We're here. We're very serious now. Okay. This is the <laughs> basics of Korean cuisine. That's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. This is all called panchan. And uh, you get different panchans with every meal. But in every meal, for sure, you're going to get rice and kimchi. There is not a meal served that does not have kimchi. You know, when Marja and I moved in the first night, yeah. I came home, yeah. grabbed some water, I opened the fridge, He's like, Whoa. I closed it up, I said, somebody died in my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea who came in the house. I don't know if she was coming with kimchi, it's luggage. Yeah, really, my baggage. <laughs> yes. um, but now, yeah. like kimchi have it's arrived. Yeah. But yeah. now, you're used to? No, I love it. Oh, yeah, can, thank you. Can, uh, so you have these with every meal? Just about. Mac and Even when he cooks his, his French yeah. things and... Uh, really? You have them on the side? So you'd have that with mac and cheese? Absolutely. Does know. that annoy you like someone having ketchup on your... Uh... It used to, but he's over it. I like it, I like it too now. <laughs> because she's always right. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Comes with the territory. Can't exactly. You? So I'm going to give you guys chopsticks. Yes. Now these are metal chopsticks. They're typically used uh, in Korean homes. You guys just want to try a little piece. It's hot. It's spicy here, so mm. be careful. You did this uh, a couple of weeks ago? Or? I did. About two weeks ago. Don't say this that was made two weeks ago. Yeah. So you're giving us old kimchi. <laughs> this is you fairly new kimchi. Not, but we try kimchi was like four years old in Korea. You eat four year old kimchi? Yeah. It was pretty. Wow. Wow. It gets milder as, a, as you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Pretty strong. That's not that bad. Not that spicy? No. Hey, is that old? I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to spice. It's not that old. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's pretty new and as far as okay. kimchi goes. Okay. But this one is a little sour, so after two weeks it gets a little sour. I have to eat it sour. A lot of people eat it when it's just made and, and fresh, but it's just your just personal taste preference. Your palate. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So these are some of the panchans here. This is uh, bean sprouts, a little spinach. These are small Fish. baby anchovies. Oh, oh. they're great! Really? They are great. Like Close your eyes and try it. Anchovies. Wow. But it doesn't taste strong like a regular. No, it doesn't. No, it's good. And it's got a lot of calcium. Sweet, no, 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 no. Sugar as well. It's like, like fish it. jerky. Yeah. My favorite. 
<laughs> well, what do they do to it? Is it dry? It's dried, and then um, you just season it Some a bit in the pan. A tiny bit of sugar in there, a little right. sesame oil. And this is uh, a Korean radish, and it's sliced thinly, uh, salted a little bit, and then with a little red pepper. Okay. This is called moo. 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 I like that. Yeah, that's easy to do. <laughs> I'll always remember that now. Okay. Pass the moo. Pass the moo. Um, and these are just little fried cakes. This has a little mm. bit of fish in there and scallions. Mm -hmm. It's an egg batter. This is, has kimchi in it. So when you eat, this, this is on the table be before meal. you have a main dish. So you'd just have this? Actually, you eat it with a main dish. Oh, you eat it with Yeah, it. Koreans okay. don't really have courses unless you get into royal cuisine, and then you get into the big oh, so courses, just... and you eat it along with whatever your main with dish is. With your barbecue, right. with oh, your right. soups, with your everything. Yeah. So <clears throat> we've explained kimchi and panchan. And that's at every meal, but another dish that's at every meal is rice. And I'm going to do a dish for you today that's uh, very popular. I think it's translated well into Western culture. It's called bibimbap. It's that's a national a dish. dish. Oh, it's but, a national dish. I mean, okay, so you take a little bit. Sounds like it should bit. be a pop song. Bibimbap. <laughs> 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 All right, so you just do a little bit of each of these different things. This is beef. It's marinated and chopped up finely. And this is a bit of bean sprouts that have been blanched. And, you know, this dish is a good way to use whatever is left over in your fridge. Right. And in Korean households, there's always I love that there. Me too. This is a bit of spinach. It's very easy. You know, that's great. I was just reading that 35% of the food that Americans buy is thrown away. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but we don't really have a bibimbap, really. Yeah. You do it. No. You know. So put a little bit of sesame oil. Is it mainly sesame oil that's used? Yes. Okay. Yes, it gives you that distinct taste. And this is cochujang paste, okay. and it's, yes, it's got some sesame oil and sesame seed in here. Okay. Easy to And I know, you put, <laughs> <laughs> and you put it on there according to taste. So you can make it spicier or less spicy. So you just mix this all up. This is like a perfect lunchtime food. I make it for John George a lot. It's like a vegetable rice salad. Yeah, and you get everything. It's like exactly. <clears throat> Hugh, I'm sorry, right. but I'm going to need a little more. Um, don't oh, worry. I'm kidding. I'm, uh, don't worry. I'll on the wild side. All right. <laughs> You're ready. spicy enough. <laughs> <laughs> and you can put a chopped egg on here. You can do so many variations. You could do chicken. You mm. can put one ingredient, five ingredients, ten. doesn't matter. Whatever okay. your preference is. Do you love spicy food? Love it. Love it. I need it. <laughs> well, Koreans typically um, enjoy spicy food and hot food, meaning temperature hot. You know, the main dish, the stew or whatever you're eating, is usually piping hot, and I need to have it piping hot, otherwise it just... It comes in a, you know, cast iron or a clay pot, really boiling the whole time you eat oh, it. Oh, bubbling, I like that. Bubbling, so it's really the love, the mm. love hot food. In the 1600s is when red pepper was introduced to Korea by way of the Americas, uh, Mexico. Kimchi existed, but without the, the chili. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just, it's funny how interconnected all our cultures and yeah, cuisines yeah, yeah. are. I thought, the, I thought really sauerkraut was from Alsace or from uh, Germany, but it's not. Where Actually, the, the, from China. The pickled cabbage was done in China where they built the Great Wall of China. Isn't that they were feeding people. Isn't that crazy? And we always thought, you know, the noodle yeah. was Italy. It's China. China. Yeah. yeah. So China, they were feeding people China. rice with uh, pickled uh, cabbage. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, this is how I like it. Yeah, so you have also, a cold. You, know, you would eat like that. You wouldn't now put this in a pan. No. no. Ah. It's a cold salad. It looks spicy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. It's an after bite. After mm -hmm. There's that kick. There it is. Mm -hmm. Comes in That's a little later. It's good. Mm -hmm. You That's were right. Good. I should have just left it at one for Woo. you, but. You know. mm -hmm. It was going to be my show, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It lingers, but it's spicy. But I like the spicy. Yeah. I love it. Another thing you need to know about Korean food is that they're very famous for barbecue. We love barbecue. Mm. So this is a traditional dish as well, and a not weak. Thinly sliced uh, ribeye, beautiful ribeye mm. together. And we're going to do a marinade. So this particular dish he's going to make today is called bulgogi. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. Good job, babe. <laughs> so for my marinade for the mm -hmm. bulgogi, I'm doing uh, ginger, garlic, onions. And we're actually using Asian pear, which is a tenderizer. Uh, soy sauce. Sesame oil, sugar, some. Uh, seven up. Right. What? Seven up. Yeah. Right. Seven up. We're gonna blend this into a, a paste. I love it. I love it too. 
love a blender. And I love you can be creative with marinades. You can put different things in. Yeah, you can put in like, whatever you want. I've done four different versions. I know. I've never heard of such a thing. I put beer in there. Honey. Here we go. So we're going to pour that uh, marinade, yes, right on top Great. of the, uh, the beef. How long yeah. should it sit in a marinade? For a thin cut of meat like that, usually half an hour. Oh, I wouldn't okay. do it overnight because it's just really... Oh, really? It, 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 it it's, yeah. pickles the meat, I think. Yeah. Some onions. Great. So that's sesame this seeds. This is not a first date kind of dish. <laughs> <laughs> and some uh, shiitake, which are wet right. dry, hydrated. So sesame oil. Kitchen, like a stir yeah, fry. It's very popular. Yeah. And it cooks in no time. This is what yeah. they usually do in Korean restaurants. And you do it yeah. at the table, don't you? It's like, and they do it themselves. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, me too. It's fun to get involved. And it's family eating. I like the family stuff. Me too. Like, everyone's in at the yeah. same time. Yeah. So you want to... With the television on, right? the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do that flip again? <laughs> ah, you show oh, off. The flip. Come on. Such a show off. Hey, ah. I love that. Can we try it? Here. Oh. Oh. Ooh. 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 You just get that out of the butchers. Yeah. So just thin it, it get them nice and thinly. That looks there, great, man. babe. I think we're there. Yeah, we are. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, that looks fantastic. What are you guys eating? That's great. You know, I have to take a little credit for Jean George's Korean skills. Yes. I introduced him to the food and the seasonings, and he's been playing around with them, so. Because you've always loved that yeah. Asian fusion. Like yes, do, for sure. It was mostly uh, Southeast Asia, which uh, yes. I traveled. Thailand and, yeah. And, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong. So Korea is like something new for me. So now let me show you what a, what a psalm is. This is the proper way to eat this. Usually you get a variety of lettuces. This up. I like So that. you take a little bit oh, of rice. So many elements as well, yeah. it's like. You know, beef, it makes sense because the beef is kind of quite rich, but then you eat it with the lettuce yes. and the herbs. Yeah, right. It's like the layering. Yeah, the layering is fantastic. Okay, so you just fold it and... It's not for a state food. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Particularly for Try you, that. Yes, So, Koreans normally, they would shove the whole thing in your mouth. In one bite. In one, one bite. Really? Yeah, they would. Oh, I'm lucky. But we can be dainty. <laughs> it's really good, nice huh? with the lettuce leaf, too. Right? I'm really Thank good. you. <laughs> Don't yeah, right. No, this isn't hot, <laughs> I promise. Good. It's not spicy. Here you go. Uh, Thank you. That's for you. That's really good. Babe, would you like me to I make you I was kind of hoping you were going to shove that in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I could next go around. Oh, I'm going for it. Ah! All right, did it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the look we want. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's good, though. But mm. the, the texture is mm. not. I it's love a the nice dishes. combo. <laughs> Could you make it smaller for me? <laughs> no, no, you're gonna have to have Bye. puffy cheeks like all of us. You better give it to Jean George. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna shove it. it in your mouth. I want to mm. see how they do it in Korea. Right, exactly. <laughs> Come okay. on, get ready, babe. Okay. It's hot though. Oh, that's so nice. Good. That's it's nice to do it for mm. other people. Mm -hmm. In your mouth, right up the back. Yeah. Good. You know, when somebody feeds you, um, it's a sign of affection and. No, I think that's really lovely, you know, doing that to, for someone else. It's, yeah, it is a sign of service yeah. and image. Absolutely. Mm. And uh, I expect to be fed like that nightly. <laughs> so I'm going to show you another tradition in Korean culture, how you serve a drink to someone older than you. So youngest always pours for the oldest. Everything is done with two hands out of respect. So it'd be disrespectful if you just do one? Yes. And who pours for you? Okay. The old man. That's good. The oldest. You have to pour for me and I have to hold with two hands. How do you say thank you again? Kam sam ni da. Kam sam ni da. Good job, Kam sam ni da. 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 A toast with our neighbors to Korean food. We're doing kalbi right. as well, which is typically, uh, this is the Korean cuts. That's a traditional Korean cut. So you have the bone and the, the way they cut it, they roll it mm, out. I see. And you don't find it that often in uh, Korean restaurants now, just because it's, it's kind of difficult to do that Time cut. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the American cut, because I think the butcher here, not known as skilled, so they right, cut it right, straight right. on the bone. Yeah. Right. But actually, it's, it's nice to eat, because you can hold it by the bone and 
We nice. eat it all the time. So it's really? Yeah, it's great. Mm. Nice. nice. Similar marinade, uh, ginger, garlic, sugar, soy sauce, yeah. onion, 7-Up. I just love that. I like it. Asian pear. Yeah. And some uh, the alcohol, the uh, shoju. Mm -hmm. So we're going to blend it again. <laughs> what, 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 what no, this? this goes actually yeah, on top of the beef. Later. Done. Oh, this started. Clean too. You are a liar. I'm an actor. <laughs> I've, I've been in restaurants as long as he has. Ah. <laughs> he did the dishes the first time he came to my mother's for dinner. My mother said, "Marry him." Really? <laughs> Babe, you haven't done the dishes ever. Ah. Not even a dishwash load. No. Come on. Oh, you must have at the beginning. I did. Never. So we're gonna <laughs> pour that marinade on top of the beef. If you want to add the sesame seeds on the scallion. I still like Go washing down. the dishes in the restaurant. Really? I did it for about two months, like a game. And that when it gets really busy, like between 8.30, 9.30, and they're shoving them plates, you're like, come on, and everyone's yelling, <laughs> so play the music loud. You'd like it. How long will we be marinated this way? Well, uh, this one would be marinated overnight. <laughs> what do you say, how long have we been married? I know, I thought it was a joke. How long have we been married? Well, I know, well, we didn't say that. <laughs> All right, on the area, a couple of days after? Or? The next day. day. Next day. So this is overnight. Should right. we start uh, cooking? Yep. Yeah. I'm steak looks you, uh, amazing. Steaks, yeah. There we go. Oh, nice steak. Ooh. Good. Good. So this oh. is a Wagyu from... Uh, Just a little bit of salt from there? From your, your country. Fantastic. Salt, pepper. There we go. There we go. That's oh, chilly. Careful now. It's good. <laughs> Where are you going? Marsha, you want to put a little bit of a sesame oil into, sure. the, into the pan? All right. I think there's enough fat in the, in the beef. And now we're going to grill some of those guys. Here's one of those. Fantastic. So with that beef, with that beef, we're thinking about doing kimchi butter. So if you want to put the butter into the, into the bowl, we're going to smash it with some chopped kimchi. Mm -hmm. Smash. Yeah. And then some juice of yep. the kimchi. And we'll just mix it up. I got some refrigerator already. Ah, prepared before. See that? I thought, the, I thought the French used a lot of butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I think we can flip the, the big steak over there. Okay, go, Dad, go. Like what, you're, what we're cooking here? This is all traditional? This is traditional, and this is something uh, we put together. This is your thing, right. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. That's good. Mm. And then you roll it in a piece of plastic. Ah. And then we're just going to cut it. a slice on the... Uh, and put the slice oh, on top. Like on top that. of the steak. Let me guess how many ounces one of those takes up. Huh? Right. So that's what I have to have every two hours. Two ounces of meat. Every two hours? Every two hours. Right now. That's your diet. Yeah, that's my diet. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Dad, flip. On the flipper. Yes. That looks nice, good. Beautiful. Love the sizzle. Me too. So in Korea, typically this particular kalbi would be uh, eaten more well done, not medium right. rare like okay. uh, we like to eat in the states. Yeah. When's it going to be at John George's restaurant in Korea? Oh, maybe one day. Or maybe maybe, uh, maybe in it. Or maybe a Korean MV. restaurant in New York. Right. An yeah. MV restaurant. <laughs> hey, that yeah, one MV. Come on. I'm waiting. Thank you. you. <laughs> Putting in our vote here. And they. These look great. Oh, that looks good. Ooh. That's nice. Then maybe we're gonna cut a slice of the butter. It's like a compound butter. Mm. So we have the kimchi butter melting on top of the steak. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Already there. Already there. Yeah. Already there. Yeah. Yum. This kimchi looks good with it. Mm. Looks good. How's it with the butter? <laughs> Rich. Delicious. How's that? Oh. See? Mm. Really beautiful. Mm. That's amazing. It's Can really taste delicious. Some steak? Wagyu beef, delicious. Mm. This is Australian beef. Really good. Mm. Yummy? Mm -hmm. mm. So, surprisingly enough, I've got a very odd utensil that I love to use in my kitchen. I use it all the time scissors. Kitchen scissors. Mm. And Koreans love to use scissors in the kitchen. It just saves time and especially with meat you're trying to you know serve a lot of people at one time you've got these long strips so it's just easier to cut it like that are you going to be able to eat that oscar okay, okay. You like spicy? Yeah. he's very adventurous with his food and then you're going to wrap it up like this Marja is much better than that. <laughs> you love it yummy you he's know the weird thing they do with uh korean food is they shove it all this. in at once Mm -hmm. <laughs> Having a full mouth and slurping is considered 
<laughs> oh, perfectly, really? perfectly fine. It's a, a compliment to the to the chef. If you slurp your food and okay. stuff your mouth, go dab. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the way to do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the scallion salad with it. It's delicious. Yeah, right? I don't know if I can do it all in one go like you, darling. Well, it would be rude not to try. Wouldn't it? it would be really <laughs> rude not to try. Oh, look. Okay, here we are together. Minuscule. Wait, I got to feed you. Yeah. Hold it's on. A okay, Jean Georges, you and I. Ready? <laughs> Come on, babe. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm joining the full mouth club. Maybe not on national television. Good flavor. Good flavor. Oh, good. <laughs> Love it. That beef is so good. I have to actually confess something. When we moved into the building, we knew you've always been one of our favorite chefs. We hadn't learned about your fantastic cooking yet, mm -hmm. but I did say to Oscar, make sure you make friends with Chloe and get invited for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've experienced this. We'll be coming down a lot more often. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. I've been smelling your food for years, and it was so nice to actually taste it. It's perfect. It's beautiful. I feel so happy to be able to share a little bit of myself with you guys um, through the food, and um, I hope you enjoy it, and you Thank guys you. get a little more adventurous, and I'm bringing you a bucket of kimchi tomorrow. <laughs> we'll make you a pavlova. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One Thank you. last cheers. Cheers. Come back. Cheers. Come back. Come back. We're doing street food today. Good. Excellent. Uh, the Korea, I think the street food is everywhere. It's no? everywhere. We're going to do a Korean-American oh, version okay. of okay. street food. This is American street food. One of my favorite American street foods is hot dogs. Yes. And he's uh, added a little Korean element to it, so. Uh, you, you want to take care of the? Sure. I'm going to give some, uh, on a hot dog, some uh, spicy uh, Korean yeah. mustard. Good. On a little bit of a kimchi relish. Okay. On top of the hot dogs. Now this is how spicy is this? Because I'm a little bit of a wuss with spice. <laughs> I just know. One to ten, probably a seven. Ooh, oh, that's a bit. But we're gonna sweet it up with. Uh... <laughs> I like spicy. You're gonna watch me sweat, JJ. You're gonna watch me sweat. We're gonna, we're gonna sweet it up uh, with a uh, honey on some rice vinegar. Oh, yes, already. You, you're, you're good. good. <laughs> oh yeah. You don't do Many this. Many years. Fun. I haven't seen this action at home. It's all before. It's all before you wake up. I oh. like to be invisible when it comes to the kitchen. <laughs> so here we go. Marja, you want to put a little muscle on top? Sure. Now, how hot is this on a scale of one? A little bit, just a little line on top of the just a hot dogs. Line, okay. What is this? What kind this of oil? Is, uh, brown rice vinegar. Yeah. Some rice little, vinegar. Little. Just two yes. tablespoons of this. Two tablespoons of this. So we could try to create like a sweet and sour, plus okay, a spicy really kimchi. That's very Asian, is it? The sweet and the sour always mixed in. I love that. Same I mix. That's, I that's, love uh, that that mix. That mix is the best. Well, thing. I have to say, Spice Market is one of our favorite restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it really is. I concur. Yeah. Yeah. And then a little bit of a... It's going to be worth a free meal or two, right? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, one more. Okay. And if you want to top it with a little bit of a kimchi on top. A oh. yeah, yeah. It should be nice. Oh. It does smell good. Well, you know, usually relish are always like a sweet and a little sour, so I think the kimchi works, works so well. If we do this in Central Park, we'll be very popular. Yeah, exactly. You gotta, it's yeah. not your classic thing you think of Korean food, we're having hot dogs. I love that. <laughs> Look at yeah. that. Okay, yeah, yeah. good. Well, One more to go here. Yeah. Okay, I'll do the mustard. All right. There we go. A work of art. Great. Have a bite. My favorite food here, babe. I'm taking this one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Looks good. Enjoy. Cheers. Mm, Korean hot dogs. How do we say I'm hungry again? Cheers. In Korean? Na pego pa. Na pego pa? Yeah. Oh, no pego pa. <laughs> How do you say it's good? Mm. Masterson. Masterson. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's a flavor, huh? Mmm. 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 Mm. No, that is so good. Mm. Really? Yeah. He is? Oh. Okay. Australian. Oh, this is really good. Can you grab a glass? This is so good. I think it's too spicy for you or not? No, this is perfect. Oh, yeah. I really didn't get much mustard, but this, this is perfect Let for me. Let me grab like yours, sir. Any north of this, and it's just not pleasurable for me. Mm. Did you know that I am Goodwill Ambassador for Seoul? Did I tell you that? Oh my gosh, yeah. that's amazing. Mm. You were there not too long ago, right? Mm. I love it there. It was my dad. I spent a lot of his working life in Korea. I didn't know that. Yeah, he, yeah, he was an accountant and uh, one of his clients was the World Bank and they basically put him in charge of Korea. And I, my entire childhood, in fact, we make fun of my dad to this day. Korea! 
is at the forefront of technology and cross. And we'd all like, Korea, Korea. Dad would tell anybody who'd listen, or wow. not even listening, he'd tell them. That's amazing. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Now, how do we say cheers? Kombe. Kombe. I'll have that too. Mm. Don't eat too much, huh? we have a lot of uh, food coming up. I'm preparing for the next Wolverine. <laughs> I eat eight meals a day. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're not the, usually like this. This is eight cheap meals a day, but I'm going <laughs> for it. <laughs> Are you cooking those eight meals? Mm. No, I'm not. So yeah. good. <laughs> Shall we get started again? Yeah, the next street food we're going to do is uh, one of the Americans' favorite. There's a lobster roll. Love. Mm. So, but I'm grilling my lobster. It's just oh. on a grill. We're going to do a scallion, kind of chili, mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yep, that should be good. Darling, this would be nice tomorrow night. Thank you. Done. And I'm nice. coming over. This is a steel trap. It's going in. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Sesame oil. A teaspoon as well. Got it. And then we're going to put about three, four tablespoons of uh, mayonnaise. Vinegar? Yes. A couple of those. Two, yeah. two, two of those, yeah. We're going to test it to see if it's a... Uh, What's yeah, that one? Rice, rice wine. To me, quality yeah. of the mayonnaise is everything. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this is good? Good mayonnaise? It's excellent. <laughs> Five of those. Good we need point. a lot of mayonnaise. Five of those? Yeah. That, oh, so uh, this is the, the low-calorie meal of the day. Absolutely. Go. Okay. Let's test this. So is this authentic Korean cooking? No, no, no. This is fusion, a la Jean George. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Almost ready. That quick? Yeah, the lobster tail are just blanched before, and we just cut them in half on uh, a little bit of uh, olive oil and grill it. Blanched means just okay, on a very hot grill. Getting... No, when you blanch it, you put in a pot of water. Ah, water. Ah. Just put them in there, the boiling water, for like two minutes. Right. So, so just to put them asleep and uh, ah. pre cook them. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Oh, that looks great. There's hardly any butter on there. A little bit. There's plenty, Marshall. There's, There's plenty. plenty. Yep. Chop it up. Yep. So we're going to toss it in the mayonnaise. Oh, I see. Right. I've got plastic Do you have any feeling in your hands or fingers? I do. Plastic hands. <laughs> Maybe a little more tolerance. Right. And then I give you the tail to cut. That's so easy. It's just I think grilled lobster has more flavor than boiled lobster. Definitely. So, you know. I agree. You didn't put any marinade or Nothing. anything? Yeah, the, all the flavor is going to be in the mayonnaise. Here we go. Cut it up. Careful. Do you want it? Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to be tough. <laughs> I'm in an action movie just for crying out loud. I should be able to, should be able to touch a lobster. Yeah, right. This is it. The gig's up. No, no tongs needed. Is that too chunky? I like chunky. Oh, perfect. Yeah, hey, ho. Here we go. Yeah. 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 It's got just the perfect amount of heat. Great. This is delicious. It's a dive. Oh, fantastic. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Happy, Happy lobster. Happy lobster. <laughs> Goodbye, sweetie. Love the street food. Don't stop it. Seriously, if I saw this in the street, I'd never go inside. <laughs> Right. Babe, what are you doing over here with this chicken? We're going to do like a spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, nice. So we're going to grill the chicken, a little bit of uh, olive oil, okay. some uh, salt. Easy enough. You, you need you, some help? You, yeah, you've been, uh, you've been oh, doing right. great me. sauces for me. Yeah. So yep. Sauces are my speciality. Yeah, so we're going to meet some... Uh, uh, Kuchujang. Oh, Kuchujang. Yes. Kuchujang. There's no Russian Kuchujang. in there. <laughs> Three. Three of these? Mm-hmm. I've watched them a couple of times, so I'll have Oh, I love here. sesame seeds. Yeah, it's so good. They're Three. so good for you, too. Three of the paste. Three of these. Yep. So what's the mm. paste? Tomato base? No, no, no. It's red oh, pepper cheese. base. Ah. They mix in some kind of sweet rice mixture. Get in. Sorry, I forget corn. my tongs, guys. Sorry. Oh, that looks One. like fun. Yeah. Generous. Yeah. Generous with the mayonnaise. Three. I've always okay. said that about you. Yeah. <laughs> Generous with the mayonnaise. That's very good. One. Mm. Cinnamon. You're doing good, you're doing good. There you go. Fantastic. 
Uno. And then due. Some vinegar. Due. That's vinegar? Yes. How okay. spicy is this? Um, it depends. You can buy it uh, fairly spicy or really it's spicy. It's huh? It's very spicy or less. Yeah, this is less spicy. How That's would this neat. differ from what you find in the street? Well, it's normally the chicken's on a skewer. It's a barbecue great. chicken on a skewer. Yeah, it's not a big sandwich culture yeah. there. So All right, right, right. Yeah. right. No bread. Mm, there are not many sweets, no bread. I know. I think Koreans are like Australians. They're like party people. They like to, uh, they like to have a good time. I so. Eat, Definitely. have a good time, party, a little bit of work. Karaoke? Yes, anyone knows if you have a business <laughs> meeting, you take them all to karaoke, it gets smashed, and the deal's done. Yeah. <laughs> don't you do karaoke as well? Because Marsha does it every I week, don't. right? She's, she's <laughs> every Monday night. Every Monday night. Every Monday and Fridays too, right? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Here we go. So we're going to add a little bit of the... Do the paste first? The paste on the bottom, yeah. Okay. Am I... Give it a nice schmear. More yeah, of that? Schmear. Yeah, okay, maybe you shouldn't have on both George sides. And I. Okay. And then you do I'll the do it on one side, maybe. Yeah, okay. you, know. you like spicy, Deb, right? Yeah, I like you spicy. You know what? Let's just do it like this. So we're good. There you go. Perfect. We're good. I just need that out of bun, babe. Yep. Right here. Yep. Perfect. So now we're going to top it with the chicken. Great. <laughs> So I still have to get you guys to Norebang, which is karaoke. Not a chance. <laughs> What's it called? Norebang? It's called Norebang. What's your, what's your first song? My what do you very warm up first every, song, I think, would have to night. be uh, probably Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. How does that go? Yeah, oh, that I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, go on. oh, no, we're missing go alcohol. On. I need some alcohol here. Bad Romance, that's a relatively new song. So you, you don't have it a go-to song that you've always um, had. Um, Well, it used to be Stevie Wonder. I just called to say I love you, but everybody's sick of it. <laughs> I'm not sick of it. We're not sick of it. Come on. No. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You two are the singers. Come on. I said rendition. no. You can do it. Come on. I love you. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I just I come. To say how much I care. Come on, Jojo. Oh, and you have a voice too. I just call, I Better without them. To, to say I love you. Hey. And I need it from the See, I don't do that part. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Let's go back to food a little bit. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm more comfortable than that direction. Yeah, yeah, he hates it. No, I don't hate it. I just, I just can't sing. Oh, so what's that? Daikon? Uh, Asian no, pear. No, this is Asian pear. Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah. It's like the kind of sweet, but it gives a nice texture to it. And this is, and this is, is, this is like a yeah, mm. so chiso. Huh? You can use chiso, which is like almost like basil and mint at the same time. Basil and mint together. Yeah. My favorite. Oh. Here we go. Fantastic. Mm. Oh, that's sensational. That's crazy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you yeah. Oh, thank you. Thanks, babe. You. Wow. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. Here we go again. Here we go again. Watch your Maybe a little do, spicy. The, mm. do the hunch. Mm. Maybe a little spicy. Oh man, here we go. Mmm. 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 That's good. Yeah. Mm. And spicy? the sesame's on the top as well. Are you That's dying good. with the heat? It's hot. That's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sweater. Picking them. Not mm. hot. See, when do the where Chisel. do you get these ideas like the Asian pear? When does that come to you? Or is that you? Is that your recipe? No, this is all. I tried first, and you need a little sweetness, a little crunch, so you start it on? Please. <laughs> Are you ever wrong? Do you ever go all this? Yeah, of course, of course. Really? We have a lot of flaps. No, we are not. We do have a lot of flaps. But you would get to like an artist. The, the mm. molten lava cake. Yeah. The most wow. popular dessert in the world. Tell that me that was your mistake. mistake. Mm. What a mistake. Mm. We did a party for um, 500 people, and um, we put all the souffle in, uh, I mean, uh, when uh, you put 500 of the brownie in the oven, the temperature of the oven dropped down. So we served it out, because it usually takes five minutes. On the 500 people. On that time, it was, uh, five minutes was not enough, because uh, you have so much, uh, you put 500 in the oven, same oven, yeah. it dropped the temperature down. Right. We served it, when they crack it open, it was raw in the middle. Were you and mortified? He... I was like, green, hiding <laughs> in the fridge. <laughs> Oh, and when I come out, uh, they were standing ovation. Standing ovation. Oh, what? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a menu the next day. Seriously, that that's dessert amazing. is yeah. in every and restaurant And that's my favorite. Now. That's my yeah. favorite. That's, that's how you always tell my that's son. That's the truth. My 10-year-old who paints, and he always goes, oh, I made a mistake. And I go, no, that's the magic. You know, that's where you find the magic, is in the mistakes. And I think mm -hmm. it's true. Because then true. you, you know, and then you improvise on that. And who knows what you find there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, like getting it. I'm just getting when it everywhere. We, speaking of first dates, I think I've, one of the things I loved about Deb was when we ate, about a third of a meal was in her hair on her I thing, <laughs> all around her mouth. Hence the book. I had yeah. a good time when I eat. <laughs> Let's go. And I thought, it's yep, a party. my kind of chick right there. I hope you enjoy. Oh. Three. 
It's so, so good. Now. So much flavor, huh? Yeah, kid friendly. I'm packing the school lunches tomorrow. This is what they're going to school with. Seriously? When I next go to Solomon, that's it. Can you take it with you?